Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depends on your time, depends on when you are watching this video. Wow. I greet you all, my family. I did take your coming for granted. And whoever that is going to come across this video, may God bless you and your family. As you help me to subscribe and share and like and comment, may God Almighty bless you also in the name of Jesus. We yeah. are. I came here this morning or rather this afternoon depends on your time to bring this vital or there are some thread that is going on in this our community not only in my community in the whole world today I see it as um, evil acts is not a good act I did one video that I said, stop betraying your trust in your marriages. You don't betray your trust. Before you go for a man or a woman, you ask, is she going to be, can she be my mother or the mother of my children? Can she cuddle me? Those are the questions you ask yourself before you met this woman or this man. Can this man be the father of my children? Can he be able to take care of me and my children? At the end of the day, both of you, you agree. After the agreement, God bless you all, the both of you, children start coming. At the end of the day, the devil has come to use the both of you. It will start with the man or the woman. My family, I know marriage is no bed of roses. There is no marriage that is 100%. I always say it. We don't need to deceive ourselves. The most important thing is let go. See everything right. Whenever your partner, your wife, your husband offends you, See it right. Don't look at it repetitive. Don't take it as offense. You might take it, but don't allow it to grow deep in your mind. Because the devil said, he comes to steal when we are asleep. It's not only when we are really deep sleep. The sleep is careless. When we are incompetent. When we lose guide. When we are not there to secure what we're supposed to secure. It is you that will protect your marriage. Your mother cannot go with you to your husband's house. Your father cannot go with you to your, father, to your husband's house. Same goes to your family, your parents, your brothers, your siblings. The marriage belongs to the both of you. Two of you. Two adults. There is something that bother me. Either when the man is not having documents, he will so play so loyal, respectful, even not just only the wife, not just only the friends, everyone around. But the moment they got that document, they start bringing their dirty character out. Dealing with these women, beating them up, Misusing them, calling their names. Is that a good thing, my family? Why not stop? It's never too late. The only family you have is your wife and your children. Your friends, they are not your family. Your siblings, they are not your family anymore. They are your family, but they are not your real family anymore. Your mother is your mother. But she cannot be your children. Your sisters, they cannot be your children. They cannot be your wife. Your brother cannot be your wife, neither your children. That is what you should consider. Please, my family, bring back your minds. Bring back your mind. You that is watching me, that is looking at me, doing your face like this. Eh, eh. 
you that is looking at me saying, mm -mm, you this woman, you this man, change. It's never too late. Calm down. You call me that for your husband. It does not mean that you are a fool. And if, if you, 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 you are a fool, it doesn't mean anything. You fooled yourself for your husband, for your love to stand. Love is about giving. How many of you give? How many do you give out of your love? Do you give 10% or 100% or 50%? Because it's what you give, that is what you get. Give it all. Give it all to your husband. Give it all to your wife. You have no we are going to. We, what are you sharing? What are you running after that your wife cannot give to you? If she doesn't know how to dress, you can dress her. If she doesn't know how to cook, you can teach her to cook. Thank God for YouTube today. What kind of food are you looking for that you cannot know how to cook through YouTube? I myself, I don't know how to bake. I learn how to bake cake through YouTube. I learn how to make up through YouTube. I learn how to do my hair through YouTube. A lot of things that I am doing today, even these eyelashes, I don't know how to fix it. I learned it through YouTube. Don't fit to be to learn. Don't fit to be to learn. Listen to advice. Look for a counsel. Look for people like us that are doing marriage counseling. They will put you at the right track. Whatever you discuss with me is between me and you, except you want me to share it. And if at all I want to share it, I will never exclude, never disclose your name. No. Your name will never show. I can use part of it to do my video, but I can never mention your name. Please, my family, why I choose to use it to make my video for other people to learn. Please, it's never too late. Marriage is not a place you go and come out. Can you marry just a man or marry a woman? It's not even up to one year. The marriage is over. What an insolence. It pains me in my heart. Two captains cannot be in a ship. Never is it possible. He doesn't work out. When you see two friends, they are going together. Nothing is happening. You should know that one is full for the other one. If the two of them, they are captains, the relationship doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't last long. But the one that lasts long, you should know that the both of them, one is a fool for the other one. Fool is the sense that he always go down. Okay, no problem. Okay, yes. That is the meaning. It's not that you are really a fool. Love says no wrong. Love your wife. Marry your wife. Kiss your wife. Genuinely. Stop playing pants. Stop deceiving your wives. Stop deceiving your husband. That you love them. Meanwhile, you are after their pockets. Meanwhile, you are after their documents. Where will he take you to? The end is disastrous. If you don't know the meaning of disastrous, it's calamity. If you don't know the meaning of calamity, if two cars hit each other, what the, what is it a good thing? Something terrible will happen. Something mysterious will happen. The same thing goes there. That is what I am saying. Please. No matter what anyone is going to tell you about your wife. No matter whatever they are going to tell you about your husband. There is one a friend of mine. Very close. They gave the husband first accusation. The wife stood by him. 
Say never, my husband is not like that. I know who I am. I know who I married. She stood. At the end of the day, the truth came out. Now they are on their knees begging. She said, I've forgiven you years ago. Because I know who I am. I know the man I am married to. I know who he is. How many of you can boast of your wife, boast of your children, boast of your, 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 your confidence in your marriage? How many of you? Be proud of what you have. Don't me neglect your wife in any way, in any way, in any way. It's an abomination. Love your wife with all your heart. Love your wife with all your strength. Show good example to the world that, that you are the best. Your wife is the best. Okay? This is just a piece of advice I think I'm going to share with you people. I remember myself, my humble self, beautiful Becky TV. If it's your first time coming across my video, please share me out. I always come here to give a piece of advice consigning marriage counseling. Not just that and other things, lifestyles, how we go about our life. We need to go, we need to take this life so easy. No problem lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. Talk less of your problem. Who do you share your problem with? Who do you talk to? Talk to your God. He will hear you. He will hear from you, no matter how long it takes. Thank you, my beautiful family. I love you all, but God loves you more. Bye-bye. i see you some other time. Bye.